let's talk a little bit about what is a typical Texas cash cow deal? What, what type of house, square footage, price range, things like that? You know, if I had to, you know, say here's our cookie cutter deal, um, I would probably say that it was a house that's built in 2005, um, you know, 1,500 square foot, um, brick home, um, post tension slab foundation, um, you know, three bedroom, two bath, um, and that house would be, you know, $115,000, $115, that's in, that includes the land. <laughs> As a, and people Amazing. in Hawaii a lot of times ask, does that include the land? <laughs> yeah, that includes the land. Um, and, you know, that house would bring, um, you know, twelve seventy five in rent, creating about, you know, a 400 plus cash flow. Um, positive phenomenal. situation with let's say 20% down scenario so it's unbelievable. that's a cookie cutter deal now we have you know things that uh, homes that are lower than that in price lower in square footage and we have homes that are higher in, in, in price and higher in square footage and we classify these different houses um, you know as cash flow houses on the bottom end of the spectrum being um, you know, the houses that are um, lower in square footage, that are higher in cash flow. This is a home that you're going to want to um, to purchase and, and for a long-term investment, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and it's going to cash flow very heavily and keep it for a long term. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, um, we have houses that are very large in square footage, up to 4,000 square feet, and these are going to be homes that, uh, you know, you're probably going to want to sell um, as the market turns. Um, that don't cash flow quite as heavily. Yes, they're going to cash flow, mm -hmm. not as heavy, but um, it's going to create a scenario where you can cash flow until the market turns and reaches its peak and then sell it and uh, gain uh, a, a pretty good equity um, stance in the market, you know, and, and it, whereas you're buying it, you know, for, for, uh, a price, you know, down here and selling it up here, and um, you know, there's not a lot of markets right now where you can do, do both, where Absolutely. you can gain that equity position and cash flow along the way. Why is the square so. footage so important in the equity? Talk a little bit about that. We preach that to a lot of investors and in, in how we calculate um, the factors for an equity or a cash flow house. You know, price per square foot is everything. Mm -hmm. You know, and we talk about those little littler homes. You know, one of the cash flow homes. Let's say if it's a ninety-five thousand dollar house, mm -hmm. you know, that's going to be a home that's maybe 1,250 square feet. Well, if the market changes and corrects $20 a square foot, you're gonna gain 24,000 on that house, it's simple math. Yep. Um, if you have a house that's 4,000 square feet and it changes $20 a square foot, you're gaining $80,000 on that house. So it's quite the difference, you know, Phenomenal. that 1,200 square foot house, you know, after everything's said and done, would you want to sell that home? Um, when it's bringing that much cash flow, probably not, because your the equity that you gain is not going to be sufficient enough that you know you you would make that back on. What the, are you going to do with your your money you made? Exactly. Where do you put your money? That's today? exactly right. That's a very valid point. But these other homes that we have, um, you know, we're selling them at a heavily decreased price, um, and so you're gaining a huge equity um, just on the purchase of the home. And then gaining more equity whenever the market changes as well. So, it uh, you kind of have the best of both worlds. So, Absolutely. whatever people are looking for in their portfolio, we can achieve that for them. You know, this is this incredible opportunity where if you're looking for a long-term cash flow performing home, we have that. If you're looking for a short-term investment to cash flow on all, along the way and uh, make that equity play, we have that as well.